don't want DeAndre Hopkins and you want the Eagles to go out and get a defensive player. I haven't forgotten about you. That's why I am going to come at you with a great trade proposal for Buda Baker right now. Think about here and I hope everybody's having a great day. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're hanging in there. So you don't want DeAndre Hopkins. You want to go out and get a defensive player. Well, I got a trade proposal for you for Buda Baker, and I want to see if you guys like this or you don't. And who is the most likely Eagle player to get traded? A lot of people think it's Quez Watkins, but I don't. I think there's another Eagle player on defense who is most likely to go, and we're going to talk about it in a second but before we do that if you're new to the channel and you like the content make sure you hit that like button more importantly make sure you subscribe to the most censored the most throttled pause eagles content created in all of the internet and if you've been subscribed for a while i just want to thank you for all the support you guys give to me and i also want to say today happy memorial day to each and every one of you guys, I hope you're having a wonderful holiday. And thank you to all those who have lost their life defending this country, protecting our freedoms. Shout out to all of you guys. Thank you so much. And to all those who have served or are serving in the military, thank you for all you do. It truly means a lot. And this channel, I truly believe and I truly hold those that serve, veterans that served with the highest reverence. Thank you guys so much. You're always you're always revered on this channel. You always will be because I know it's not an easy job what you guys give. Uh, you give all of yourself and it's tough and your families do too. And just think about all the soldiers that have to go away for, for, for years at a time, months at a time. And their family uh, is there worried about them. It's not easy for them. It's not easy for their families. So thank you for all your support, uh, all your service, everything you do. Uh, it just means... It just means the world to us. And uh, happy Memorial Day. Thank you for everything you guys do. I just wanted to say that because it means a lot. Now, I know there's a lot of yous that don't want DeAndre Hopkins. I think the majority of yous are with me. We should go out and get them. But I wanted to talk to you guys about an interesting trade proposal that I saw. And this was regarding Buda Baker. Because, let's face it, if you don't want DeAndre Hopkins, the chances are you're looking at trying to get better at a position you feel that we're weak at. Maybe linebacker with like a Isaiah Simmons or Patrick Queen. Or maybe safety with a guy like Buda Baker. What would you give for Buda Baker, right? That's the question. Well, I saw... I saw this interesting trade proposal idea that I wanted to, to see what you guys think. And I'm going to pull it up right now so you let me know what you think of this. So this, this trade actually has been out there for a while. Uh, Bleacher Report put it up and it was NFL trade rumors Buda Baker to the Eagles. With five Pro Bowl appearances and two All-Pro selections in his sixth year, Arizona Cardinals safety Buda Baker has already accomplished more uh, than most of his peers at age 27. Should the Philadelphia B Eagles be interested in a trade since he requested it? And it goes on to talk about, you know, the fact that he would be a good fit and stuff like that. But the more important thing and the thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about was what would the Eagles have to give up? To get Buda Baker. And, and here's the scenario, Bleacher Report. Here's the scenario that they put forward, okay? Here's what the Eagles get in return for Buda Baker in this scenario Eagles would get Buda Baker, Cardinals would get a 2024 fifth round pick, and a 2025 third round pick. So a 2024 five, fifth and a 2025 third. Philadelphia, which has $12.7 million in cap space, wouldn't have to create a ton of space to absorb uh, Baker's $13 million base salary. Bleacher, Bleacher Report writes, he would be a superior replacement for Gardner Johnson over free agent addition Terrell Edmonds and perhaps more ready than third round pick Sidney Brown. So there you go. For all you guys that don't want DeAndre Hopkins and are willing to give trade draft picks to get Buda Baker, 
this is a possible trade scenario uh, that we could go. Now, for me, a, a 2024 fifth round pick and a 2025 20, third round pick, uh, I, I probably would do that. I, I'd probably make that deal, but it would be only conditioned that I have to sign him to a long-term extension. If I can't get him signed to like a three, four-year deal, I, I, I wouldn't do it. I'm not bringing him in for one year and giving up those picks. Um, I would rather take a look at Kevin Bayard if that was the case, he probably would be a little cheaper, a little cheaper than Buda Baker. Now, you know, here's the thing. Uh, I would love to add Buda Baker. I would add, love to add linebacker. I would love to add a lot of players. Of course. Uh, of course I would. Uh, I just got to say this. I don't believe Buda Baker would make as big of an impact as DeAndre Hopkins. Right? I think DeAndre Hopkins on that offense would make a bigger impact than Buda Baker. And DeAndre Hopkins isn't going to cost you trade picks. So I, of course, would prefer to go that route, okay? However, if you want, you know, however, here's the thing. Everybody says, oh, you, 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 you get uh, DeAndre Hopkins, you can't get defensive player. Why? Why can't you? Why can't you do both? Why can't you do both? Howie Roseman knows how to manipulate the cap. He knows how to do it. If people are going to tell me he's going to Kansas City or Buffalo, well, then the Eagles can sign him and then still go out and get somebody else. Do both. You, you have plenty of opportunity to do both. You don't have to do one or the other. But I wanted to see what you guys, and put it in the comments section. Let me know what you think about this trade. Would you do it for Buda Baker? Uh, I, I, you know, I wanted to see what people think because I want to see where people are coming from that don't want DeAndre Hopkins, but they want to go get a defensive player. What are you willing to give up, and will that player be as effective as DeAndre Hopkins could be for the offense? Uh, you know, that's what I want to know. I say make your offense as impenetrable, unstoppable, uh, impregnable, as Mike Tyson would say, as you can. And then go from there. So we'll see. It, it'll be interesting. Um, now, another thing I wanted to talk about was which Eagle player is most likely to get traded? Who's most likely to be on the move? A lot of people would say Quez Watkins, but I don't think it's Quez Watkins. I actually, and I've said this before in previous videos, I think it's Derek Barnett. I think Derek Barnett is going to get traded. I don't think there's going to be enough room for him, especially if and when the Eagles do what I want them to do and go out and get Yannick Nagagwe. Right? I, I want DeAndre Hopkins. I want Yannick Nagagwe. I want this guy. I want that. I want it all. And people say, you want it all. What do you want it all for? Because I want to win. I want to win. And when you have a master, a master uh, capologist like a Howie Roseman with his Napoleon hat, his pencil, his pencil pecked pocket protector, he's got his glasses, and he's calculating the calculations of the cornbread. Listen, you don't calculate the calculations of the cornbread if you're not going to uh, be in a position to go out and get players when the time comes. You know, this is calculating cornbread, man. This is this ain't like just on a piece of paper. It's cornbread. And why do I say corn? Because cornbread, it, good cornbread, it's like it's like you got to calculate the calculation so it's perfect. You know. But my thinking is this: go out and get and do what you got to do. That's that's why you sign Jalen Hurts to the contract you do. That's why you go out and you do things so that when opportunities present themselves, you have the opportunity to get them. So yeah, give me DeAndre Hopkins, get me Yannick Ngakwe, get them both, okay? But who do I think? is most likely to get traded for the Eagles. I think it's going to be Derek Barnett. And you know what? Jimmy Kemsky actually agrees with me. Jimmy Kemsky of, of the Philly Voice, he actually agrees with me. This is what he said. He says, um, That's why Jimmy Kemsky of Philly Voice thinks Barnett could be an attractive player to send packing ahead of training camp. The Eagles have four edge rushers ahead of Barnett in Hassan Reddick, Josh Sweat, Brandon Graham, Nolan Smith. Barnett has a base salary of one point or one million dollars, so he'd be a cheap player for a new team to acquire. So sure, if he eventually passes a physical and shows that he's a healthy in person in preseason, I could see him getting dealt for a small return. I definitely could see him getting dealt for a small return. It may it just makes too much sense. Okay, you're not going to get a lot for him. What are you going to get for him? Maybe like a, I don't know, future fifth round pick or something like that. Uh, Der Derek Barnett, I think, needs a change of scenery. And I just think you've got so much depth on, on this team 
that that you, you you should definitely do it. Well, and while I say that, while you have depth, I still think you should look to acquire even more talent because you can never have too many pass rushers. But I don't think Derek Barnett fits really with this team anymore. I, I don't think I don't think uh, we need to keep him. He's going to be here one more year. I'd rather bring in Yannick Nagagwe, a guy that had nine and a half sacks, and I'd rather trade Barnett, get a fifth round pick. It just makes sense. I predict right now that Derek Barnett will get traded before the regular season. That's my little prediction. Now, I don't think Quez gets traded, but I do think Derek Barnett does because uh, I think he needs a change of scenery. I think he's really buried in the death chart, and I think you could get free agents who are actually better than him right now. So it just makes sense to me. What do you guys think? Who do you think the most likely person to get traded from the Eagles is? I'm dying to know. Let me know. This cat's acting crazy. And uh, absolutely love you guys. Make sure you have a wonderful Memorial Day. You sure probably will be seeing me and stuff. I'll be around so you'll see me. But with that said, let me know what you guys think about the Buda Baker trade. And let me know what you guys think about De uh, Derek Barnett getting traded possibly by uh, week one of the NFL. And if you've been watching this long, I love you. I love you. Take care. Talk to you later, of course. Don't be a dingbat. Remember, it's how we vision. We're all just living in it. I'm like, I'm obsessed with Skillwalker Ranch. I, I got to tell you, like, like I, I joined the Skinwalker Ranch Insiders on the website. Awesome. Awesome. But they got these, like, they got the camera feeds, like the live feeds of the place. I watch all day. I watch all day. I'm, I just sit there like this. That, the UFO? UFO? Was that cloud? UFO? My wife's like, hello? Hello? I can't help it. I, I, I'm addicted to I got to know what's going on. I love that show. I swear, I would like to do, like... Like, like, I wish I could do, like, weekly, like, recaps of the show. It's that awesome. I love that show. If you haven't watched it, watch it. Denzel Washington, out.